In this video, I will show you how I will transform this LG Optimus Hub into a full-time screen on weather station. This phone was uh, given to me by a friend. Uh, he broke its uh, touch screen, only the touch screen, not the screen beneath. Okay, now I'm putting a lot of fingerprints on it. Uh, and he tried to together with me we actually tried to buy a cheap replacement from China but uh, it didn't work very very well only the upper part of this touchscreen works normally the lower part works only in this area this is not working at all so it's impossible to completely control the phone it's not worth buying uh, another touchscreen for it so he was not using it, he gave it to me and I I give him in return an old uh, Nokia phone for uh, emergencies if his new phone breaks down somehow. So I got the idea to transform this into a weather station with a weather-wise application. It's a very nice application with uh, great uh, themes to choose from. The screen uh, will stay always on. I've installed on this phone uh, CyanogenMod 7.2 and it has an option to keep the screen on while charging so this phone will all, always be connected to power and the screen will remain on with the weather station app. So now I don't really like to to let it look like a phone. So I will make a frame for it from an old Canon printer cover. Uh, glue this in place beneath so only the screen will show. My wife always checks the weather because she goes on foot to the work to her workplace. So she needs to know how the weather will be. So probably she will like this. Now I just uh, have to cut this frame. I will cut it with uh, a moment with this. And I will try to make sure that I don't go uh, <laughs> too much outside the lines with this metal. It's from a printer so it's uh, very strong. Uh, my cutting tool will not be able to cut into it and I will fix it uh, in place with clamps at the edge of the line and cut uh, along, uh, alongside it. So all should work pretty well. Then I will paint this, glue it to the phone, make uh, something for the phone to to stay on the wall, plug it in, start the app and that's about I've it. just finished cutting this plastic. It doesn't look too good uh, at the moment. I have a lot more work to do. This is the app that I'm going to use weather-wise with the seven day forecast and this is just an idea about how it's going to look at the end. A really nice app. The weather is changing and on the right side uh, the next seven days with their uh, supposed to be weather. So I will continue the work on the frame for the moment. Okay, so I've moved along with the project. The plastic frame is almost ready to be painted. I think I'm going to try and polish it up a little bit more and uh, apply only a clear coat on it.
see how that looks if, if I don't like it I will paint it uh, black over that clear coat so we will see how this goes I've been pretty busy lately so it's been some time since I've worked on this weather station project I've encountered the problem with the WeatherWise app. Let me just start it really quick if it wants to start because the screen still has the problem with some non-responsive areas. The app works and looks perfectly. It's an older version on this phone because the newer version moves a little bit slow because it's an old phone of course but the app does not uh, refresh itself so I will be stuck with this image forever and this is not what I want I really love this app so I hope they will give it an option to self refresh in the future and then I will uh, where is ok my back button not working weird ok so because uh, the app does not self refresh maybe it will in the future that will be great I'm stuck uh, at this point with uh, using this uh, weather background it's a live uh, background and it changes based on the weather now you can see it's a little bit sunshine with some clouds so it's exactly as what I see outside uh, on the window and on top of it, it's a, how do you say, it's a widget uh, scaled to the whole extent of the screen and it matches uh, pretty good uh, this uh, live background. It uh, tells me the next, uh, next uh, actually not only next four days because first one is today it gives me the time, uh, date and here uh, let me try and focus okay uh, the temperature uh, I hope they will in a new version put uh, an option to make this temperature a little bit bigger maybe remove the this clock maybe I can remove, remove it even in this version but I did not find out how only to change the size of the text at the moment but not for this, only for this. Uh, so this is working for the moment pretty well until uh, a new version of WeatherWise will appear, which I really hope will happen sooner uh, rather than later. Let me just uh, tell you the name of these uh, apps that I'm using. Okay. So you can see Weather Wallpaper, this is the background. WeatherWise is what I will use in the future in the next update. And weather and clock widget, it, uh, it's what I have uh, uh, the widget on top of the weather wallpaper background. So, this is what I've got at the moment. I've set my phone up so when it reboots on, or starts, if I'm, I leave home for a while, uh, this, I take it... Uh, I take the charger out, it will uh, finish its battery, it will stop, when I plug it back, back in, it will start exactly like this on this screen with the correct uh, weather. So now, uh, this is the frame I will use. Oh, it's hard to set it in place, watching only through this camera, okay, something like this. This is the finish of what I've uh, came up with. The clear coat did not work because it interacted with the plastic and I've got something like this in the end, so it wasn't good. It's just the uh, normal shiny black paint, but sprayed from uh, a bigger distance, so only the bigger droplets would, uh, reach, would reach this and got this finish after a lot of coats but it's pretty uniform 
and uh, I, I really really like it. like it it feels really good on your hand so I think it's good but now I've got another problem when I put this on top uh, maybe I need to go in the menu and do something uh, that's impossible because I don't have back home buttons anymore I only have uh, power button and volume so yeah I've found an app let me try and reach it uh, where is it where is it where is it where is it button remapper so I'm on the volume app if I remember correctly which I want to use as home come on move it okay register okay it registered at home hello that's me registered that as home and volume down come on this sucks but after I'm finished with this I shouldn't have any more problems because it's all set so back is back home is home but they will be covered volume up is uh, volume down is back volume up is home let's see if we have back yeah it's actually back volume up yes it's actually home because this is my home screen okay you can see when I press home takes me to the home screen when I press volume up come on just home screen okay. here I don't need the options button because I've come on I've uh, put my settings here so they will be accessible through the hole so that's not needed here we have the final version cleaned up the screen a little bit put uh, all this in place only three buttons now but it's more than enough for what I'm using this and until Waterwise updates the app this is how it will look not perfect but pretty good okay about uh, two years later this thing is still working perfectly with the screen on all the time as you can see it has a white uh, USB cable so it blends in quite well here I decided to remove the background in the end because it's uh, easier to read like this as you can see uh, this uh, temperature is still pretty small and uh, yeah up here there's just a little thread now uh, that keeps it in place and uh, yeah working perfectly connected to my Wi-Fi updating by itself so yeah that's about it what can I say it's a really awesome project and if you have an old phone that you do not use uh, I really encourage you to try this so that's about it thanks for watching like subscribe and see you in the next one bye